what did that win mean to you though? Against your North Carolina, your your hometown team, big uh, time. I mean, mean, six overtimes. Yeah, it was. It was. That's one of my. That and UVA game probably last year, and the UNC game last year also. That was probably that goes down the books. Probably my one of my favorite games I ever played in. It's because it was so hard, and I knew like once got once it got in overtime, they were going to win because just like we've just done so much of that work, like. We're always doing situational work. Like the ball's on the 25, they have they have to score, they have to get a field goal to uh, you have to hold them to a field goal, not let them score or something like that. We're always doing that situational work, and I just knew that we would come out because I've always had that experience. Lawrence Pell D means like it doesn't really matter how I would say how talented or how good you are. It's more of you come every day to work, and it's like you know when you bring that lunch pail out, when that lunch pail comes out, like all the all the stuff, like all the like horse playing, anything that you probably was doing in the locker room before practice, you know, all that laughing and all that giggling and stuff. Like, we're coming to work and, like, we got to stay intent and focus on details. Yeah, I think wearing number 25 is awesome to kind of uh, carry on that legacy that uh, Coach Beamer had here. Um, and I think it's really important to wear it uh, to for the coaches that are here at the moment as well. Uh, Coach Shevest, uh, you know, uh, has worked with me so hard for the past three years. So I think it's a really cool thing to wear 25, and especially when you get to perform well in 25 as well. I think that's that's pretty special. Uh, what's the most mad you've seen Coach Forte uh, during your time here? Uh, Furman game. I, I forgot what happened, but he was on the sideline with one of the refs, and there's a lot of things that he said. So I was right behind him when I, whenever he was screaming at him, so it was pretty funny. But uh, I've been seeing like the hashtag fired up foo on Twitter, and it, just make, it makes me laugh when I see the pictures of him. So.